to catch the lightning strike. It's like a ride. <laughs> yeah, like it's, it's, it's real life. Like, I yeah. can get it. The surface of the land roots trap water from the flowing mud, extracting precious nutrients and minerals. These elements, when combined with sunlight, create the diverse living systems of our planet. Ooh, diverse living systems. Yeah. Oh, something on my side. That's nice. One of those living systems Wait, is, is the restaurant? rainforest, home to the most amazing concentration of life on our planet. Oh, yeah. These dense and beautiful forests cover only a tiny portion of the Earth's surface, but they contain more than half of its plant and animal species. The rainforests are also extremely oh, rich in productive happy. living systems, providing us with oxygen, oh, food, oh, food, 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 and other forms of essential to our lives. So used to riding with Giddy, I'm like waving at the monkey. I'm like, why am yeah. I waving? This is like not even a real monkey. Like, <laughs> hi, monkey. Yes. Fortunately, there's no one behind us because I look like a lunatic. I do the same thing with your father. No less beautiful living system. And while this arid landscape may seem like he's my surrogate child, when there's no alive. child here, I use him. The plants and animals <laughs> that have learned to survive in these on? harsh conditions make use of what little water they can find oh, they? and avoid yeah. the scorching rays of the relentless sun. Why am I recording all of this? No one knows. The American prairie once appeared as desolate as the desert, but over time, rainwater and nutrients gradually penetrated <laughs> the hard surface of this land. Even the hooves of the mighty buffalo Do helped create the wolf rich wolf soil wolf wolf wolf. one day they become do? home to the American no, farm. <laughs> I don't know either. I was just I surprised. I thought you said, did Grandma say woof woof? No, I know you said woof woof. You're sitting there. <laughs> and I said, hi, monkey. But what I wanted to know. Bye. Never mind. Oh, a chicken. I like chickens. Hi, chicken. Oh, here's the doggy on the porch. Well, this place looks great. I could just, like, live here. How oh, that looks like Katie's house. Of all the forces at work on the land, does? I guess it does. Found a Hi, chickens. The need to produce food for a growing world led to the enormous use and sometimes overuse of the land. In our search for more efficient ways to grow food, we often fail to realize the impact of our methods. <laughs> uh oh. Now it's our comeuppance. No more cute right. monkeys. Yeah. Today, we're learning to live with the land, discovering better ways to grow food that will assure both human and environmental well-being. That's cool. Where do they get this footage? I wondered where they got the footage from the old footage. In Saudi Arabia, footage. Mexico, we're learning to produce food on desert sea coasts by developing and planting crops that thrive on salt water. I always wonder if you can get old footage like that. Like Here at Epcot, we're learning some to sort of archive the online or it's just available on YouTube. Predators like ladybugs and wasps to control pests. Hi, ladybug. In Japan, we're learning by adding composted leaves and other plant material to our soil, we can reduce the need for fertilizers. In farmlands across America, How will we meet tomorrow's growing needs for food production, yet still respect the needs of the land? Some of the answers are being discovered just ahead. To help us maintain these carefully controlled ecosystems, and for your safety, please remain seated in your boat at all times. Oh, this is beautiful. Yeah, I think this is real. Right? This is real. Yeah. 